Time for day two. today is find two short iron pipes and technically kill like one more animal. Which will help when we get a, you know, 246-ish, I guess, bow. 245 still, like that. Looks like. Lots and lots and lots of lumber. thinking at this point that it probably would have been better, in fact, to just build a smaller initial fort and focus more on raising the tools, and to a lesser degree the weapons. You probably could have gotten to at least 300 quality. And then just expanded the fort out. I was trying to keep it simple and say, here, build this, and then we'll convert these exact things we've already placed into concrete by tearing down the wood frame and putting in a rebar frame and filling it with concrete. But I think I may end up my effort to achieve that. Um, I think this this might be worse overall technically. Is it really gonna matter in the end? No. So don't like freak out and panic if you're thinking, wow, I'm doomed now. And yes, I just queued up seven minutes worth of wood frames right there. Big over here. There we go. Now we are going to need two foot iron pipes. And some clay, which we'll get very easily, and stone, which we think we already have. So how do we get short iron pipes? We need to find some remnant of civilization with a toilet. I'm not kidding about the toilets. Toilets are guaranteed to have short iron pipes if you destroy them. Take a shot with one arrow. What? I feel chipped. If you're gonna stop and eat, then stop and eat. Seriously. queued up like 20 arrows there, but I guess it wasn't full 20. Okay, it's immortal bleeding. When you hit a target that's living with an arrow, you have a chance to apply to what's called a mortal bleed. I believe is the term. Um, let's see. 
But it's different than the bleed effect you get, I believe. It deals substantially more damage, from what I've heard. But it's, I think it's usually a PvP thing, and it applies to animal things. But, the point is, if you hit an animal with an arrow, there's a chance, even if you don't kill it outright and it runs away, that it'll still just die from the bleed effect. So, don't give up. I believe this house over here will have one toilet, if I recall correctly. But we'll still need to find another short iron pipe someplace. I also hate these guys because their head movements are so tricky and twitchy. It's ridiculous. the offending toilet so no one else suffers through it. And we paid no attention to the short iron pipe we just grabbed as well from the toilet. That is definitely not why we did that. Should start paying attention more to birds' nests I haven't really bothered yet. Don't mess with me. We're now level 7. That means we can also pick up minor 69, which is good. Another thing that would be good is seeing some other sign of civilization. Here is a case for us putting down that bedroll would have actually been a good idea. Because I know how to find the base on a map because I can tell where it is and I'm good with directions like that. But I know that there are some people who uh, are less, I don't know, uh, intuitive of that kind of thing. Find how you want. because I shot the two arrows too close together in succession, succession I didn't get a snake and attack bonus joy. But on the flip side, he's going into the lake, so... All as well that ends well. piece of armor is going to take three animal hides and we're going to need to make a lot of pieces of armor pieces of armor to just be getting armor of decent quality as well. So now the question is where is Something else of civilization, or former civilization, or half-civilization, or man-made, really, I'll settle for that, how about that? Again, it do the zombies don't count as man-made, okay? Not in this definition. Glass paint, kind of useless, because we have all the sand around anyway. Probably should have kept following the road down there, to be frank. Because that was what probably led to something. But I see something up ahead, so it's all good. And I should start actually harvesting some of this other stuff. Okay. Uh, out with the old plant fiber hood. And 
in with the plant fiber hat. Now these I would usually leave to loot later, frankly, because they actually have a good chance at having some good stuff in them. But I'm not sure how much the average player wants to really just leave that lying around and marking on the map and coming back late. It's not really essential or anything. Are we seriously still overheating? basically going naked except for a hat and our underwear, which I guess will have us be at like the 80-ish degree range here. Interesting. Why aren't you just coming a straight line towards me? experiment someday to try to figure out whether cobblestone or wood gives more experience like per frame or whatever. Cobblestone takes 10 cobblestone rocks, um, which if you count cobblestone rocks as being a clay plus a stone is two materials each for 20 total, whereas wood is also 20 total. So theoretically it would probably be the same based upon how they weight other things, but it's possible. If it's not, it'd be good to know. I'll we'll have to test that someday. I'm going to queue up a bunch of gunpowder to have working. scrap iron. Yes, if I separated them and then scrapped it, I'd get... Oh, hey, there's, there's two short iron bits. If I separated the cans and scrapped them individually, I'd get two iron rather than one. It's not worth the time. Just, it ain't. It ain't worth the time. Not worth the time. It is not worth the time. It does not bear doing. You know, phrase it however you want. We don't technically need this fight, but we're here anyway. I don't remember if there's anything but another toilet upstairs in this house. I don't really think so. Unless you have a wrench, maybe. Don't worry, we got a bottled murky water. Theoretically, I could leave these here and try to come back later on and hope that they respawn like a pistol in them. But I don't really think I'm going to bother coming back here, so... Alright, so we need to get back. Oh, and we have a road up here that leads sort of towards the lake. Let's see if this leads us to anything interesting. Apparently it leads into the lake directly. Okay then. We're just gonna smile and nod. Why is he jumping around? Is he just like hyper or something? No. I'm actually trying to get a better view. You notice that you jump up? Hey, the plant fibers don't block your view as much. You can actually have a better chance of spotting things like bird's nests or crawlers or things like this coal over here.
and we'll have clay up here, like straight ahead of us, or we can always curve off to the left a little bit and we'll find more there. Either way works, I think. Or that was actually the house, not clay, so... We're gonna go ahead and go with option B up here, I think. drop some stuff off in our fort here. Um, what don't I care about right now? I don't care about the dirt, where the bellows can actually be put there. So this, I believe, is... No, 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 no. I did not mean to be opening the backpack. Do not actually want to do that. We'll set that up more properly so it's not a potential pain to jump into. by one once we put the overhang on, which we have not done yet. So, now the forge is going to go here. It'll be just a, our immediate access as we come down the path that will eventually be there. And you'll notice it is not against an outside wall. That is another very important thing. rocks gives 15 per small breaking, if you will, and 45 overall for the total rock. And we need a new stone axe. Most definitely. not digging in this close clay pit is we don't want um, to deform the terrain too much and cause zombies to potentially get stuck on things. They have a bad habit of that, really. Such a bother. I suppose we can queue up on that roll as well. The iron I put there is probably all melted at this point, frankly. 
So we're just going to go try to grab a few hundred clay really fast. And then return. Because we don't need that much clay or iron for now. Just a bit here and there. Oh hey, vitamins. Do I have minus 69 or I do? Yes, okay. Just want to make sure. We're gathering an average of 10 clay per hit here because you get 40 for the entire block. We're going to get to the point where we can 3 hit it with a stone shovel very quickly and then 2 hit it with a an iron shovel or then 1 hit it with a steel shovel. right on top of the forge. Because logic. Just take the vitamins. Let's grab. Thank you, game. We have the meat and that. We should take these. All of that. That's all good. Make an anvil. And we'll throw a little bit of fuel on there. And we need the cooking pot to do much else. Fill that bottle, and we still have 56 seconds. Now, we do want to make sure we are back here when the anvil finishes, because that gives a large bonus to tool smithing. So, we have like another, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds right now to punch grass out here, then we'll want to be getting back there for the anvil experience. We may occasionally later on make more anvils just to raise toolsmithing, but that's when we have more forges and not as much time, many time limitations to be preparing. So of 19 seconds, I, cut, I did not have to be so cautious there. Oh well. You're definitely... Um, Needing a lot more iron than clay right now. We want a cooking pot. Throw that on the fire. And voila! We can now make things like gold mati and bacon knives. character can be complaining wildly and like rrr, rrr, rrr. I think that's roughly how it went. A little dramatic match. I 
may be wondering, why are you keeping the forge open here? The answer is you get weapon crafting experience for doing this. I'll have the forge open just like you get tool smithing experience for the anvil. As you saw, our weapon smithing skill just went up. And since we have these shovels crafting anyway, to appease uh, the Ur R gods, I am going to go ahead and eat here. And I'm waiting for the iron to finish melting. At which point I'll put in the clay in those, t those two slots effectively for a little bit, and then I'll start throwing in stone. So we're going to need concrete. Then we have a few more minutes to gather materials. we are going to need, or want at least, some new stone shovels. <laughs> there are 2,000 point tree- whoa! Trees over there, and a bear, and but we're going- the bear's blocking our path. He's a guardian of the path. That could have been real hairy. I would have been running back to the fort and trying to shoot it dead and kiting it around the walls and such. Would not have been fun. So up to 289 shovels. Nice. So let's get a few stone axes that are actually up to date. Doing 34 per hit. what, 30 hits to kill the tree? At like 0.8 seconds per hit, I think, something like that is what it is. So 24 seconds to take down a thousand hits. Not too shabby. <coughs> gathering plant fibers, if we assume you swing twice per second and hit every single time, never miss, you're getting four plant fibers a second, and versus of, uh, what, 600 wood divided by 24 seconds. Like 
five ish. Wait per second. No, twenty five would be. Oh, that, that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. So you'd go 240, then you'd go 480, then 720, halfway between 720 and 480 is 600, so that would be 2.5, so 25, yeah. Okay, I wasn't off. I was double-checking my math there. I swing and I hit it, but I can't interact with it. That is wonderful. My temperature is dropping fast. Freezing. I don't want to risk accidentally getting a screamer. They're bad. Put all this stuff in here. And we queue up more stone shovels. And a pair of stone axes to round it out.
So we are not doing the best thing now. But we have five more bacon and eggs for now. Glad we can take care of easily enough. now we are overheating. And now we're cooling down. Joy, oh joy. talking about continuing our work down here. <laughs> On a related note, yeah, we have plenty of coal, so... Let's make a handful of torches. to go four across, right? So that right but there should be the last bit. We still go over one more, but this is the edge. I'm 
want to get at least two down in this area. You notice how I can dig out a few, but I don't want to start digging out the whole thing. This is still light work enough construction, and there's still enough dirt all around it that it would probably hold if I dug out, you know, a considerably larger chunk, but... Well, the sequel, I'd prefer not to really be taking the risk. So, 27 and 28 were the best. So we can toss those in there, keep some of the 27s. Not what I meant to do there. Six damage per swing. And then, of course, we have club time. second. We're at 353, and now we are at... I only queued up. I don't even remember how many was left now. I didn't bother to check. For some reason I think I queued up everything, and I clearly did not. So, uh... Oops. Six. We still have another two to go in this direction. And obviously another option if you get tired of me, if you get tired of hopping back and forth, you could of course just make it some chests down here to throw stuff into. Rather than continuously nerd pull like that, it probably would have been a better solution for me. Thank you. 
three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. which will nearly fill the last lockbox we currently have set up up here. And we are at 32 construction tools. Not far to go from steel. here and the remaining work to be done. So one, two, three, four, five. We're making sure the outer walls stay supported. Completely vertically is the good point. Or rather, we are going to unsupport them once in a while then we will imme pretty much immediately re-support them after we dig it out, and we're going to leave it, most of it, constantly supported. Perhaps that'd be a more accurate way to describe it if you prefer. chest. I am trying to remember how, how much I talked about the idea of the heat map earlier. I don't think I went into it that much. If at all. This isn't the first time I've tried this series of videos, and I've, I guess this is the third or fourth try, and I always did something that made me think, you know, probably shouldn't be doing that in a tutorial video because it's going to lead people to the wrong conclusions. Now, granted, in all fairness, me... trying to remember if this was the time that had the uh, nearly dying of thirst or not. I'm 
think that was a different game. That was a different game. help shield our digging endeavors from prying eyes when we get to the point of having those uh, screamers showing up. And with that, we are hitting day three to the next video.